Just in case you guys are wondering if all my cars are Italian, um, no, they're not. I like I like pretty much anything mechanical. Anything makes looks good, makes nice noise, but uh, this is a 1978 MG Midget. That it, another car that I stole. It was a uh, the way it sits right now. I paid fifteen hundred dollars for it with a super nice paint job on it. Uh, the top was a little ratty. I'm gonna be replacing that, so I'll be posting a video for that on YouTube. Um, the problem with the car when I bought it was the number one exhaust valve. The head came off and uh, got swallowed by the engine. So there's a nice hole in the piston. I had a, the head rebuilt at Speedway Classics in Menasha. The guy did a great job on it. Uh, he was able to salvage salvage it. I thought it would be junk because of all the nicks and gouges in the in the head from the valve bouncing around the cylinder. Um, but he saved it. I got to get rid of this Zenith Strongbird. Need a couple of SUs on here. Something something that I can tune. I have a pair of them on my dots, and I don't think there's anything easier to tune and have them stay in tune. Um, one of the modifications I made to it at the suggestion of Mark from Speedway Classics was off the oil pressure sender, you run a line directly up to a, a plugged off hole at the head, and this basically just bypasses all the all the oil feeds between the block and the head and feeds the rocker shaft almost directly so um, the top of the engine stays nice and wet unfortunately with me being able to un unable to tune the carb I can't keep it idling or it won't hold an idle so I can't just sit and let it run Another thing I have to work on. Shocks could be replaced. They're non-existent. Car bounces around the, down the road pretty good. But this is one of those cars that it proves you don't have to have a lot of horsepower to have fun. Because it's fun just to go cruising and you look good going down the road too. I'm going to be replacing the muffler. Um, Vicky Britz sells a nice piece that fits in the stock location with four tailpipes coming out. It'll, I have a friend with a Spitfire 1500 with the same exhaust on it. It sounds awesome. So Once we get rid of that Alice Chalmers muffler, it won't sound like a farm tractor anymore.